Hey everyone, finished watching the next Power Rangers SPD episode, Abridged. The Rangers are told by Kruger to keep an eye out for a bank robber. They don't know what he looks like. The Rangers go out to stop an alien going on a rampage. After the alien gets away, the Rangers are convinced that he's the bank robber. Except Bridge. There was a bank nearby, but the alien didn't seem to show any interest in it. A disturbance is detected at the bank, and the Rangers rush to the scene. The wall is slashed open. The Rangers think it's similar to a weapon the alien they dealt with earlier had. Once again, Bridge isn't so sure. Around the break in the wall, he finds traces of water. A woman approaches the Rangers and says she's a witness. She tells them she saw a triangle-headed guy break in. She has a dog with her. Bridge finds something suspicious about her. The alien, nicknamed T-Top, shows up uh, and the Rangers go to arrest him. Bridge goes to follow his own leads. Bridge bumps into the witness from earlier, and he convinces her to blow up a balloon so he can show her how to make a balloon animal. Bridge walks away, and suddenly Bridwing drops down behind the witness. The woman then reveals she's paying Bridwing to get rid of them. At SPD headquarters, Bridge runs a test on the air inside the balloon and finds out it's not human breath. Bridwing makes T-Top grow, and the rangers take the Megazord out to capture him. Jack applies judgment mode on him, but he's found innocent. They shrink him back to normal. T-Top explains that he's a bounty hunter looking for the same bank robber they are. The witness woman shows up and accuses T-Top of being the bank robber. Bridge then turns it on her and says she's the bank robber. She denies it, but then Bridge throws a car at her. She drops her human guise and cuts the car in half. She reveals that she was working with Bridwing to get the bounty hunter off her trail. After a fight, Bridge applies judgment mode on her and finds her guilty. They trap her in a containment card. At SPD headquarters, Kruger tells the Rangers about Bridwing. Up on Grum's ship, Grum threatens Bridwing to be more careful in the future. This episode was really, really good. I like Bridge. He's easily my favorite of the team. The plot is clever and different. It's not the standard Monster of the Day plot, though there are still monsters. T-Top is said to have been kicked off Earth for the destruction he caused earlier, which is a little unexpected. If this episode were to be made now, everyone would forget the damage he caused and lives he put in danger, and his personality would completely change at the end. I like that he is held accountable for what he did. Bridge's quirky nature allows him to catch the true culprit off guard, which is a really clever way to utilize him as a character. The bank robber lets slip that she's working with Bridwing. The rangers are now aware of him. This doesn't really add or change anything at this point. The rangers don't know for sure if he's working with Grum or not. Bridwing uses a bat to make T-Top grow. Could this be a relative of the Zombats from Megaforce? Maybe Bridwing worked with the Armada villains in the past, or the future... Whatever. Unlike last episode, this one keeps focus purely on Bridge. The other rangers barely get any lines. I don't think Sky gets a single relevant thing to say at all. Mark Hoffmeyer wrote this episode. This is his sole credit on SPD. Ranger Wiki glorifies his work on Power Rangers a bit. It says he's one of the few writers to remain after Disney's acquisition, and that makes it sound like he was a consistent writer on the show through all the Saban years. In reality, He's credited mostly with Mighty Morphin episodes and four Zeo episodes. He has one Turbo credit, and that's his last until Ninja Storm. My assumption is he was brought on Ninja Storm because Doug Sloan probably knew him. Maybe he was involved with the show after Turbo uncredited, but I still think Ranger Wiki makes more out of him than was substantial. A very strong episode, easily one of the best so far, taking full advantage of the setting, premise, and characters. Hopefully we'll see more like this to come. I know there's at least a few more SPD episodes that are pretty good before it kind of falls apart. So, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya. It's rude to sniff other people's dogs without permission.